guys. So, there are so many new things happening. Oop, left my headphones in. Sorry. Okay. But yeah, so there's so many new things happening. Um, I have a new camera set up, which reminds me, I had a bunch of things like hanging behind me and I totally forgot to like move them. Don't worry, they'll be gone for the next video. Um, there's just like, it's just a bunch of scarves and a dish towel. Um, yeah, you get a different angle of my room. Um, I also have a microphone now. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I hope there's a noticeable difference in the sound quality. I did a few tests and I think so. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. So about that title. So last Friday, I was walking. I was walking to the bus stop from my dorm. And as I'm walking, I lifted my hand to my face. Like my phone was in my hand and I lifted my hand to my face and kind of just like rubbed at my nose with the side of my finger because um you know it was like itchy but i didn't want to scratch it whatever and as i'm like pulling my hand away from my face like the back of my hand just connects with someone's face i was just like oh my god both she and i were so startled and then she asked me if i was okay i was just like i, I just slapped you backhanded you and yes it was an accident but then I started to think about it as I was walking away. Like, why was she so close to me? I think she was just kind of standing there. It was weird. Um, just like the rest of the weekend, I spent being a little embarrassed. I was just like, wow, I slapped someone. This is weird. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's my opening story. So I guess this is going to be sort of another update, even though I gave you two updates in the previous videos. Um, there are a few topics I do want to discuss, like blind people in the media, but I'm saving that for, um, my friend Melissa slash Militza. Uh, we wanted to do that together. Um, I also have a special project I've been working on that I told you guys about over the summer in my travel video, and it's still in the works. I just, you know, things, things happen, things get in the way. Um, but yeah, so me updates so i don't know if you guys recall this was a while ago but i was taking a math class over the summer this is my second time taking the class because the first time it um i took it credit no credit i.e i just opted out of receiving any credit for it because i was going to receive a d in the class and i need at least a c it's my core credit so I didn't realize that I could just take the class again and the grace grade would be erased. So I just took credit, no credit for it. Um, so I was taking the class again this summer. Now I was having trouble with the class because my professor wasn't always the most um, accommodating. Like he wanted to be helpful, but I think there were times when he, you know, fair to him or, well, yeah, I guess fair to him you know, he thought that it was, like, treating me equally with the rest of the students. And I know that sounds kind of, like, um, backwards. But sometimes, you know, fair and giving me the same opportunities as the rest of my classmates isn't, you know, exactly, like, treating me the exact same way. And I'm not sure if that's making sense, so I'll give you an example. Um, so the, the homework was online, and math is not accessible with screen readers. Um, particularly if there's images because the screen reader, you know, how is it going to interpret the information in a way that I can then understand? Um, so I had a, was, I was working with a classmate on it, on, um, on the homework and, you know, she'd read it to me, I'd solve it and then I'd tell her the answer and if I had any trouble, lucky for me, she knew this content, she was good at what we were doing. So she ended up, um, you know, helping me a lot more than professor. So, um, there was one day, the first time, I think we forgot that we had one more assignment due, or maybe Addie had, like, a family emergency. I don't remember exactly what it was. Addie was the girl that was helping me. But, um, you know, I asked him for an extension, and he was like, well, the other students don't have an extension. And the thing that it took me a really long time to explain to him, and I don't think he ever, he fully got it, I think he just got tired of hearing me argue with him, was that... Yes, I realized that the other kids, you know, you don't give them extensions. He's like, unless there's like some computer trouble or something like that. But I'm working with someone else's schedule. Like, it's not as though I'm just turning on the computer, going and getting to work. Like, I have to work with her schedule. And 
you know, if it just clashes, like, there's nothing, I'm at her mercy, for lack of a better uh, phrase, so there's nothing for me to do. Um, I also had issues with the tests because the proctors I had, it was during the summer, so there wasn't a wide pool of proctors. Now, I read things in Braille, but I was told that it was, like, complicated or whatever to get my math tests in Braille. I don't remember what the story was, but I instead, I have a reader and I have a scribe. Now, I'm a very visual learner, uh, you know, air quotes around that. I do the air, air quotes myself, but I'm holding my mic, so... <sighs> That might be a very jarring sound if I just drop it to do air quotes. Um, but yeah, so she, uh, wait, what? Oh, no, the proctors. Okay. So, you know, I, I'm a very visual learner, and I say that because I prefer getting my information, you know, or I guess tactile learner would be applicable here, you know, reading Braille is tactile, but I comprehend the most when I read it myself. I'm good with audio, I'm okay with audio, but I do best when I read the content myself. So, um, you know, and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that's an excuse for, well, because I think in certain instances I would have done a lot better if I had the tests, if I could read them myself. But, you know, I'm also just bad at math. So if I did poorly, you know, it's regardless of whether I had it or not, had it in braille or not. But um, anyway, so the proctors that I had were not math savvy at all. The first one got the less than and greater than sign mixed up. And as a blind person, visually impaired, legally blind, whatever, yes, I have some vision, but I usually prefer to myself as blind. So as a blind person, um, I, I know the visual difference between less than and greater than. Why don't you? At the very least, know it from like text message, you know, less than three is the heart. You know, it's not greater than three, but I guess you would just like visually look at it and know what it is. But you know, it's just, so something like that, if I'm solving an inequality problem, like that can change my answer depending on what I have to do. If it's like, you know, if I have two problems to solve, if I'm like solving a set or something like that. Um, so that made it difficult. And then as the tests, you know, as things got more complicated, um, you know, there were symbols that the proctors just didn't recognize, and I struggled to, you know, understand and try to grasp what they were saying. And not only, like, was it hard for me in understanding, but then it was hard for me to then um, explain my answers, explain what I wanted them to write, because if they had trouble with the content anyway, from my understanding, um, what Addie told me, she looked over my tests, was that, you know, the proctor's handwriting was, like, really bad and really messy. You know, the professor's got a bunch of tests he's grading. Like, why is he going to just, um, you know, look over and only read, uh, and, you know, just, like, sit there and go read mine super carefully? But even if he did, I was told that the proctor's handwriting was pretty messy anyway, so it's, it was hard to just decipher it. Now, Addie got it because we'd worked together so she kind of got my way of thinking but even to go further so the proctor had trouble drawing a number line even if I tried to explain it to him but the thing is if I barely have a grasp on the content like you know I know what I'm doing I know what I'm saying but if you then want me to have to explain everything all over to you and I barely have a grasp on it you know that's that's not gonna work I did ask my professor for like symbol sheets and it was, he did eventually give it to me. He was hesitant initially because he was like, you know, why would you need the symbol sheet? Professor, I can't read it. It's for the proctor because they don't know these symbols. But then even then, sometimes my proctor would say three cube, um, three cube root five, which would mean three times the cube root of five. But I think he was just looking at the cube root symbol and it was just the cube root of five. So it changes every, like how I solve the problem, what my answer is. I got 100% on the homework, but I failed each test, so I consequently got an F. I was a little devastated because I've never failed anything in my life. Uh, like, I've come close to failing, or I've just barely passed with like a 66 or 65 even. Um, but I've never actually gotten an F, so it was very unpleasant. So I spent this semester appealing my grade. It didn't work out because, so first, uh, you know, I was explaining to my, um, my accessibility counselor all of my issues and she focused mainly on like the symbol sheet like that was the problem and they were like well you know she did get the symbol sheet and she still didn't do well yes i got the symbol sheet but it still it didn't change that the proctors didn't know the content they didn't know 
what they were talking about. Now, I also did the appeal later than I was supposed to. I was supposed to do it within five weeks after the course ended, but I misunderstood the um, the instructions because I looked it up. And um, it's, I thought it was five weeks into the next semester, um, proceeding, the preceding semester. Um, that might be wrong. Sorry, okay. Um, but, you know, five weeks into the next semester, which, you know, was the fall semester, or I thought it was the fall semester, but even if they meant, you know, five weeks into the next semester, there was also a second session of the summer classes, I think second and third sessions. So it was just, you know, I was unclear on that, but my counselor still tried. I did not win the appeal, so I have to take this freaking class. I was not going to say freaking. I, I have to take this freaking class again next year. Uh, next semester, next year, whatever. Uh, and I'm really annoyed and I'm really worried that I has, because this is my third time taking this class, I feel like, you know, yes, I know that I need it, but I may not be as like attentive or I may not put my all into it because I'm just kind of tired of it. Like I'm tired of this content. I'm not a huge fan of math. I'm already like reconsidering my majors and such like um so you know double major in creative writing and psychology i'm keeping the creative writing major i thought about dropping psychology to my minor so i need this class which is uh, it's called algebra for college students but it definitely has some trig elements to it um but so algebra for college students that's my core credit i need at least to see um i and then i have to take statistics as a prereq to psychology where I also need to see. Now stat is supposed to be simpler and I did do a little bit of, you know, stat stuff <laughs> in um, my trigonometry class in 11th grade and I didn't hate it. It didn't, it seemed actually to make a little bit of sense, but I don't know if I want to deal with this math crap again because it, it's just so complicated. But hopefully, well, no, not hopefully. I plan on having my things in Braille next semester and we're supposed to, you know, be like fully prepared and stuff like that. So hopefully that's the case. Um, and yeah, oh, so I was thinking about dropping psychology to my minor. And, um, but then I saw that I still need stat for it, even as a minor. And I don't have to have majored or studied psychology to apply for graduate psych graduate schools. So... I'm also thinking about minoring in religion. There are a lot of other things that I'm interested in too, so yeah. Um, so basically this was just a long math rant. Um, I don't really have, and I told you about my microphone and you can see my new camera set up. Um, I don't think I have very many like interesting updates and stuff to, to talk about or to say. Um, as you know, I'm always open to like questions and commentary. Because, yes, there's a lot of stuff that happens in my life. Like, I have a lot of stories and stuff like that. But, you know, I also want this vlog to be informative. And I guess you can, it can be informative from my stories. Um, you know, me telling you how this person tripped over my cane. And, you know, how that's a common thing. And telling you ways to work around it, i.e. just walk around the cane, stop trying to jump over it like you're a ninja, um, or look up from your phone because chances are there may be a blind person walking toward you who cannot see you. You can actually see them and prevent any accidents. Um, but you know, I like they'll get repetitive after a while. Like it's great for anecdotal stories in the beginning, but I do want to give you guys like interesting content and this is college life and blindness, so I'm cool with rambling about my college life. But, you know, I also want to be informative. Um, I finally updated my blog, so I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else. So I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving. And I want to do a cover. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while, but I keep on like flip-flop. like. I'll start working on something and then I'll stop because I don't like how it sounds. Um, but I'm really like excited for this mic. It's a blue snowball. It was recommended to me by a friend of mine and um, I do like have a teacher or a former teacher who had the snowball who loved it and then like the reviews and I became enamored with it so I bought it. I kind of wish that I'd waited until 
um, you know, Friday to get the Black Friday deals, but it's okay. It's already purchased and I like it. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, right. So yeah. Um, give me comments, send me messages on Twitter. Um, let me know what interests you guys, what you guys want me to talk about. Um, because I like talking. I don't know if you guys got that impression just yet, but I do. <laughs> so I don't mind. And even if it's like something that's like super embarrassing to you and probably to me, I blush really easily. When I was younger, so, um, when I was younger, I thought that like blushing was solely a white person thing because you know, they're like really pale. So it's really easy to see, but I'm not that dark. So people see my blushes as well and you know everyone blushes but like a lot of the heroines in books that i read they were all like very they had delicate porcelain skin or ivory skin or uh whatever gossamer well i hope their skin wasn't gossamer because i get like that that just seems weird but you know what i mean so they were always blushing um i didn't have a lot of like non-white heroines to read about initially so i was just like oh that's a white person thing that's what they do cool that must be really embarrassing that people can see when you're embarrassed your whole face gets red um yeah okay <laughs> so that's all as i was saying happy thanksgiving send me your words about things you'd like me to talk about i do have things that i'm working on with friends um so hopefully we'll probably get around to that a lot during winter break or you know just in the coming weeks and uh yeah 